guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spa, and I'm here to share with you a new mini album that we are going to be starting. Now, you could go ahead and use this mini album as a mini album, or you can go ahead and use it as almost a catalog reference of pockets. So this is going to be all about the pockets, and I thought this would be a fun um, little mini album to create where if you kind of just need to add some pockets somewhere and you're not really sure what kind of style I'm going to show you a few different designs and stuff so this here is going to be page one so we will make three and what I did was um, just created some kind of fun ones ones that you probably have already seen but um, I thought it might be kind of fun to go ahead and make a whole mini album just with pockets so anyway off the front here oh let me show you what we're using first so for this one here, we are going to use the, um, for journals and planners, this is the XX, I mean, sorry, the XL pocket die, and this is number 655, and this is one of the newer ones. And I'm also using for journals and planners, the medium pocket die. And then for my tags, I use big labels and tags number 18. So that's what we're using for dies for this. So right off the front, I have my tags right here. However, if you open it up, tags on this side, but look at how fun this is. So this is what I'm calling my three quarter page and it has a fun little pocket and this is made with the, um, the XL die and it wraps around. So it's kind of fun. So it's creating a fun little unique element on the front of your page. You get the fun design element where you can see the front and the back pages or the front page and the next page behind it. And my little tags just kind of go ahead and fit right in. So I created what I'm calling a wraparound pocket. So it might be something you've not seen before. And then over on this page is just two pockets stacked on top of each other that hold photo mats. Just like that. And then this closes up and flips open this way. And this go ahead and creates two angled pockets. And this gives you an idea where you could just have one on the left or one on the right. Or you could use two of them to create a fun little unique look where you can use both of them. And then over here is just using a pocket as you normally would onto a page to go ahead and add photo mats. So anyway, we are going to go ahead and create this. Again, this will be my um, page design one. We're going to make three of these for our book. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you what you need. So as always, I like to create my base pages that are eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter because I like to go ahead and have an album that's kind of the same size throughout um, many of my videos. That way you can just take elements that you like from different page designs and you can just use them together. So, so far, I, I'm not actually sure how many I've made, but you have quite a few different ideas. If you wanted to go look through some of the other videos, you can mix and match the page designs. And I did it because I made all my base pages eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. That way I, you know, I planned right out from the beginning to go ahead and have some um, different styles that you can put together. So you're going to need one at eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. You're going to need one at eight and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And you're going to score at a half an inch and apply tape. Then for my three quarter page design, you're going to need one at eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter and score at a half inch and add tape. So we're gonna work off the main page, main base page, so the eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And the first piece you're gonna want is your three quarter inch page. And we're gonna go ahead and angle down on the flap. And let's go ahead fold it and I'm going to burnish it down. So now this one here, taking our base page, we can see our tape. It's going to stick right on top here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and line it up, making sure I am squared off. I'm following along the top that I'm square, down here that I'm square, and of course from the side. 
And then the way I always like to remove the tape is I hold my page down so it doesn't slip. And then I just go ahead and stick it down. And this is what I have now. All right, so now moving on to our next page. So this is the eight and three quarter by eight and a quarter and scored at a half inch on the eight and three quarter inch side. And then when you fold it over, it gives you a perfect square of eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So let's go ahead and do that. So now this is the front of our page with our three quarter. So we're just going to flip the whole thing over. And this now is going to go on just like this. And again, lining everything up. And we'll flip it back over. So when our book opens, it's like this. And that goes down and opens like this. So basically, this is what we just created. So this and that. Real simple. This one's, um, it looks complicated, but it's actually very easy. So now we're going to go ahead and first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and cover with pattern paper the front and the back of this page because of our wraparound pocket we need to go ahead and add pattern paper first. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those out and then we'll keep moving on. So I went ahead and cut out my two pieces. So this piece right here is six and three quarters by eight and a quarter for the height. So I cut this at six and a half and I'm using an eight inch paper pad. So I didn't have to cut down any more. So this is going to be my front page. And I went ahead and added score tape already. So now we can go ahead and stick this one down. Just like that. And when I was making my test one, I actually stuck the pocket down first and then I realized I had to add my pattern paper. So I would take it back up and start over. But that's what they make undo for. So I have that one there. Flip it open and this one. So line it up. And I can do the other side. Okay. And there is that. So now we're going to go ahead and create our pocket that we wrap around. So you're going to need to cut one of the extra large pocket die. And for this one here, what I'm going to do before we add tape or anything, we need to fold it. So I am going to fold it exactly in half. Just like that. And give it a good burnish. Make sure everything is exactly in half. So that looks good. Now what we need to do is, let me just open it and show you. So now we're folded in the middle. So what we need to do is we need to angle this part right here. So when we open it back up now, this is what we have. And we just cut that little piece off right there. Now we can go ahead and add our tape. And if you prefer glue, you can go ahead and use glue. I just prefer tape because for videos, it is much quicker for me. And when I'm designing too, if I have any mistakes, I can go ahead and just use undo and tr trim it all off. Not trim it off. I'm trimming as I'm saying that. I can go ahead and pull it off with undo and then that way I don't ruin 
what I've already started and I can just add more tape. So that's what I have. Alright, so now we have this. I can go ahead and fold all my tape down now. And give it a good burnish. And now our pocket. It's going to be like this. So this is what you have and you're folding it in half. So you can go ahead and take your page. And I'm going to just set it like this and over. So what I want to do now is make sure my pocket is going to come up even to my base page. So just like that. Um, so that can show you a little bit better how we're putting it on. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's all lined up and untuck one flap so I can get it stuck. And I have that. And then now I can just go ahead, flip the whole thing open and stick it all down. And then these two center pieces here will just stick onto each other because of how we fold it. They are mirror image and fold it over. And I have that. So let's just continue on with some pockets and then I'll have to cut some more pattern paper. So if we open this up, I'm going to work over here, which I cut out two of the medium pocket dies. So I have these two here and I added tape and we can go ahead and fold these down. And we're not going to stick the whole thing yet. We're only going to stick down the longer side. So the side that's sealed up against here, we're going to remove that side, but we're not removing the others. So for this one, again, I'm going to go ahead, hold it down, and I'm going almost all the way up to where the fold is of this page, but not quite. I can still see some of it. And I am coming down pretty close to the bottom. I'm probably a 16th inch away from the bottom. So I'm almost at the bottom. So I'm going to hold it and stick this guy down. And that's because if you add this one now to the top of it, you are, should be the exact same distance almost all the way to the edge, but about a 16th. These two together are almost the length of our base page. So you don't want to um, have any more spacing from the bottom than necessary. So to put this one down, because I want these two to butt right up against each other, I'm going to hold it down, making sure I'm lined up even right here, and hold this one. Again, making sure also of my fold so we're not interfering with that. And stick this one down. So right now this is what you have and we're going to go ahead and add our pattern paper here first and then close these two down on top. That way our pattern paper, if you put these down now, you would have to cut two separate strips and to stick it into the pocket and then you'd still have see a space in here. So this way if you put your pattern paper down now and then your pockets, it'll all be one. All right, so now I'm going to cut out some pattern paper. So I went ahead and cut out some pieces. So these are for my wraparound pocket. So to go ahead and make these pieces here, I went ahead and cut out from the large pocket die this piece here. This is the largest of the two. Now this is made to go ahead and fit if it was a normal size pocket, such as something like that. It would fit perfectly. However, I want black around both sides, so you can't just cut it in half. You do have to cut it in half and trim a little. So I went ahead and did that. So I have these pockets here. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and just stick them down. I've already inked, so I am inking with Vintage Photo, and my paper is Graphic 45 Imagine, which is a little bit of an older collection, but by far one of my favorites, because I love steampunk. So I went ahead and dug this out for this album. So we have that there. We can open it up. And we get this one stuck down. Now I had the idea of doing this little wraparound pocket since I received the die in the mail from Creoles. I kind of actually almost thought of it instantly, but I needed something to um, come up with other than a wraparound pocket. So I came up with the idea of I would just do a catalog of pockets, so to speak. So now I have this one here and that's gonna go down here. And which side is, it is this side. So I'm going to line it up. And it's coming along pretty quickly. I mean, we're not even 20 minutes into the video other than me having to stop and cut. This page design is going to go fairly quick. So now once that's like that, I can go ahead and stick my pockets down. So let's do one at a time. And then this one. So when you stick the second one down, just make sure that you are not going to overlap. And that is good right there. And just give it a good burnish. And then I already cut out, oh, I didn't tape. Hold on, let me tape those real quick. All right, so I went ahead and got my tape on. Now we can go ahead and stick these ones down. And then these ones are also cut with the medium pocket die. It has the little inside die for your pattern paper. So I went ahead and cut those two out because they're perfect size for the pocket. That one. And then our bottom one. And these ones pages are done. You just gotta open it up and do the inside pages, which will be super fast as well. So this is what we have at the moment. So you can see it gives you a nice design look here with your papers. So now we're gonna open it this way. And on this side, I've already gone ahead and cut out my pattern paper. This one needs to be laid down first. So, go ahead and get this one stuck down. And this is going to have the normal pocket on it, or what the die was intended to look like. So I'm using another of the large, extra large pocket die right here. It's already cut out. And I'm just 
burnish it down. We have nice, clean, crisp fold lines. And this is going to go right on the bottom. So I'm going to make sure it's centered to the space. And I also want a little bit of the pattern paper right here on the bottom showing because it makes for a nice look. So stick this one down. And this is why you have to go ahead and add the pattern paper first because the pocket, if you, if you put the pocket down first and you just put the paper inside like the pocket area, you have all this extra space here. So you want to go ahead and put your pattern paper down first and then you can add your pocket. So we'll get that cut out in a second. But moving along now, I have my two angled corner pockets here. So this is also using the extra large pocket die. So for this one here, because you're going to put the tape on an L shape on um, both of the side pieces and then one top, one bottom, because these mirror image each other, you're going to go ahead and cut from this corner down to this corner. Whoops, I can't see on the camera. From here to here and here to here to go ahead and make some corner pockets. So let me cut those and I'll show you. So what I did just to show you on the white paper is I went ahead and cut them. So you can see how I cut those out there. That's what they used to look like. You do not need these pieces, although you could save them and make something cute like a little flap or some kind of fun element there. I'm sure I'll figure out something to use those on at some point. So now these ones here, you don't have to add your um, pattern paper to the bottom first. You actually want to go ahead and add your corner pockets. Let's burnish those down nice. Just like that. So now you have two of them like this. If I untuck the tape, you can see the tape like that. So with this one here, I'm going to put it all the way to the bottom and to the side all the way around. And once I know I have it where I want it, I'm going to stick it down. Just like that. And then I can lift this one up. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm coming all the way over um, almost to where the score line is, where the page folds, but not quite. But it's almost on it. So. And of course, all the way to the bottom. So I want the full space um, of this page usable. That's why I'm going over as far as I can. That's down, and then this one. There we go. And the only thing left now is to cut out my pattern paper for my pockets, and all three pockets, and then the back page for this. So when I go ahead and cut this out here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this die, and then when I have my pattern paper, all I'm doing is literally cutting from this corner to this corner from my pattern paper piece. And then that would go just over there. So it'll fit perfect. All right, so I went ahead and cut out the rest of my pieces. So let's go ahead and stick this one on. So centering it to the space. Stick it down. There's that one. Now let's go ahead and end this page. I only put tape just on the very top, and that's because the sides will be all held down by the pockets. So, oops. Line it up. If you want, I probably normally would go
go ahead and glue this down and slide it in the page, um, inside it inside the pockets. That way it'll be stuck all the way down, but it's a lot harder to put the tape on when it's this way. So probably right there, I'll just add a little bit of glue. Just so that part stays down. That. I know I won't be taking this up because I like what I've done, so I'm safe there. And then I have my little corner pockets. Just make sure when you do pattern paper that you give it full tape coverage at the top here because you don't want any of that to um, come off because it is such a thin piece. So do make sure that you have plenty of tape on that area. And that's going to be the first one I'm going to stick down. And then I can stick the rest down. There's that. And then my last one. And that's stuck. And there we go. So we have the front. And then flip it this way. And then this part here is what we're going to attach to the book. So this isn't the, the page, obviously. But when you put them on the binding, then you'll have them just like this. But we'll have a different design for the back side. But we, that's why we're not putting anything on this side. Because it's part of... Um, the part that you're not going to even see unless I decide to make a pocket inside, which I might considering maybe we'll do a design on the next page because then that will be another pocket and that's what we're making is pockets. Alrighty. So anyway, we are all done with the page one design for my all about the pockets mini album. This is part one of three and I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun, quick, um, looks a little complicated, but it's really very simple to put together. And anyway, if you are watching this on the Creelys YouTube channel or Patty's Crafty Spot YouTube channel, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see, we would love to see a little thumbs up. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.